ProLin PLN. On my system, I've turned it on so I can show you what the behavior looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new part. Okay, so I do have the option on. If I come up here and draw one circle, come off here, I get the alignment indicator. And with that new alignment type, the horizontal alignment in NX11, it creates that alignment. Now, because I've turned that option to yes, it did infer that constraint. If I had the option off, it wouldn't infer the constraint. We would just draw the circle, and then we'd have to come in here and manually add our constraint. No big deal. It just depends on what your preference is. Okay? Now, also, you may be asking, well, what about the inferred constraints and dimensions? So here is horizontal alignment. Here is vertical alignment. If the customer default is set to uncheck, these two options won't even show in this inferred constraints and dimensions. When I set it to yes, I have the option to say, well, I don't want to infer that horizontal alignment. And notice there how it did not add that alignment. So to get the horizontal or vertical constraint to show up in the infer constraints dialog, you have to set the customer default to yes. Now sometimes I get the question, well why would you not want that on? If I'm just sketching a profile, every time I get an alignment indicator like this, it would go ahead and apply that constraint. So every time I click, whether I intend to or not, it's placing those alignment constraints. Now what I like to do is use a little tip and trick so if I don't want it to do an alignment right there I just hold alt and that'll suspend the fact that it won't infer that constraint. Alt works for everything, horizontals, verticals and everything but it's especially nice if you don't want it to infer um, that horizontal vertical alignment. ProLin PLM